Yo, what's going on guys? It's your girl! It's your girl, Indian Queen. Yo, I know it's been a minute. I want to say thank you to everybody. I swear to God, everybody that has reached out to me. You know the amount of uh, Instagram messages I got? Asking if I'm okay. Just very respectful, positive. And even if you think I didn't read them, I read them. I seen them and I appreciate that. Also, we, we got some new subs. I just want to say big shout out for the new subs. Big shout out to my notification gang because I know you'll be here right now. Guys, remember I told you in the UK the sun never shines. Well, it has been shining because I'm from Manchester in the UK. It is colder than a mother hubbard all the time. We barely get sunshine. You know it's hot in the UK when your titties are starting to sweat. So I know shit's about to get real round here. It's been hot. Your girl's back. I wanted to do something light today, something fun. And quite a few people have told me to react to uh, Briefcase Joe. I think it's J Jimmy Kimmel. And he, it says, Briefcase Joe, Eminem teaches Jimmy Kimmel how to rap. Imagine having the goat teach you how to rap. It would literally be a dream come true to rap with Eminem. But the goat teaching you how to rap, I know this shit is about to be fire. Yo, I like Jimmy Kimmel. I know who he is, just in case people don't know if I know who Jimmy is. I know, your girl knows who Jimmy is. I ain't gonna waste no more time. I just, I, also, I know I keep speaking. I love yous. I love yous from the bottom of my heart. No joke. I love all my mother hubbards. All of you. Yo, without further ado, let's go. Thanks for meeting with me. I appreciate it. And I don't know. My goal is to become a rapper, and I don't know. Are you serious? Yeah, I am serious. I'm sick of doing the show, to be honest with you. Really sick of it. Okay. Well, for me, what I do in my career is, I, I like to draw like things from my my past, and you know what I mean. Like, and yeah. think of something that upset you as a child or something like that. Like emotional pain. Yeah, like emotional pain, like things. Yo, let me just stop it right there. Emma's actually speaking the truth to this man right here. Like, he might have been on the show and it could be a comedy, right? But Emma's actually speaking the truth. He's saying he uses everything, like, basically emotional pain, everything from his past. So anything that pisses him off, M knows he can use that as ammunition. That, that helps fuel, fuel the fire that he needs to burn. You know what? You know the rest. The way I am. Bitch, I'm getting, I'm getting good at this. Yeah, so he's actually teaching Jimmy a very valuable point. I, I like to draw like things from my, my past. And, you know what I mean? Like and yeah. think of something that upset you as a child or something like that. Or, like emotional pain. Yeah, like emotional pain. Like things to, you know. Oh, all right. Um, when I was in high school, I was a manager of, of the shoe department at the clothing store. And I never really felt appreciated. <laughs> so that could be something. That, that, that's a start, that's a start, you know. You know what the worst thing that happened to me, I think, as a kid is? It was my first day of junior high school, and my dad got a new briefcase. And so his old briefcase was sitting in the kitchen, and my mom said, I have a good idea. You should put your books in the briefcase. And the first minute of my first day of junior high school, I walked into the school cafeteria and with my briefcase, and these big kids screamed at me, Hey, briefcase Joe! <laughs> Yo! That, that's sad, that. That is actually sad. If I went to school on my first day with a briefcase and people shouted, briefcase san. Bitch, there's about to be a fight. There's about, shit's about to go down. But briefcase Joe was probably soft. God bless him. It's great to be soft, by the way. I'm not promoting any violence or anything like that. I'm just saying. Maybe you could use that as your rap name, like briefcase Joe. You're saying takes like my weakness and turn it into to a yeah to a strength it. yeah then you turn your negatives into a positive. I like that. I can do that. I mean, you should be writing all these things down, honestly, man. Yeah, let's put it on a paper with pens. I just try to think of things that rhyme with Joe because it's briefcase Joe, and I was thinking like the word like go rhymes with Joe. Right. And go. like Mo, like if somebody's name was Mo. Right. Doe. <laughs> Poor briefcase Joe is is using the most simplest 
rhymes, bless him, sat next to the one of the biggest lyricists in the world. I'm sure M will fix this shit. Doe. Oh, that's good. Like, uh, they call me Briefcase Joe. I got a body made of pizza dough, you know? Wait, I got a body made of pizza dough? Pizza dough, dough yeah. I got testicles. In oh, my... yeah, I do have those. Yeah, I have two of them. I'm like an Eskimo. I go to Mexico with my vegetable testicles. Yeah, 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 yeah. there you go. I go... <laughs> Yo, I go to Mexico with my vegetable testic... Joe. For real, Joe. Why am I calling you Joe? Jimmy? Ain't Jimmy lost so much weight now to, to when this was... When was this? 2009? Wow, this has already got, you know, 27 million views. 27 million views. Oh my gosh. Just to see uh, the GOAT teach Jimmy Kimmel to be briefcase Joe. <laughs> Yo, let's yeah, go. There you go. I got a garden hose. Cause that's a clever because it seems like I have prostitutes living in my garden. Uh, well, no. It's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah. But you have you noticed Eminem wants to laugh? I can see M wants to laugh. He's he's keeping that shit in. Hose. Cause that's a clever because it seems like I have prostitutes living in my garden. Uh, well, no. It's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, but you're not in a gang, though. So you I guess. am in a gang. I oh, am you in a gang. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Jimmy said, I am in a gang. I am in a gang. I'm in a couple Would gangs you... right now. Reach down deep inside you and, like, always make your life seem worse than it actually is. Worse? Yeah. You could take, like, little truths and just stretch them as far as you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, what I should say maybe is my mother chopped me up and put me inside the briefcase and then mailed me to the school. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Like that. Yes. Good. So <laughs> only M can agree with him saying shit like that. Just stretch them as far as you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, what I should say maybe is my mother chopped me up and put me inside the briefcase and then mailed me to the school. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Like that. Yes. Good. So I'm in a briefcase like a hungry man dinner. I was thinner. Back then, that's why I fit in it. My mother spit in it. And sealed it up and closed it. Don't lock it, mom. Octomom? Octomom. Octomom, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 she has nothing to do with this, actually. If it's not good enough, I could try to like, no, you know, it's, if, you, if you don't like it, it's I... It's not that it's not good enough, know what I, I'm saying, it's just that I ain't mad at you. Okay, you know. No, I mean. <laughs> It's not just that, it's I, I ain't mad at you. As soon as I hear that shit, I just think a Tupac instantly. No, she has nothing to do with this, actually. If it's not good enough, I could try to like... No, you it's... Know, if, you, if you don't like it, it's I... It's not that it's not good enough, know what I, I'm saying. It's just that I ain't mad at you. Okay, you know. No, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, I ain't mad at you either. Good. I mean, I'm mad at you. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, I feel you. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe something like this. Maybe you could say something like this. Okay. Yo, here I go, they call me Briefcase Joe. I'm flipping and skipping and ripping and dipping, I hit him with venom and enema. Give him an enema, then hit him up right in front of the cinema. Skin him alive, rocking the party as soon as the women arrive. Then I'm a driver staking their heart and squirt lemon in their eyes. Like something like that, you know what I mean? Oh my days. M. What you just said there was so fantastic. My, my ears couldn't keep up. You didn't say that, um, but in my head, if I was trying, if I was trying to say what you said, I'd be saying briefcase Joe ain't got no chance. Em. I'm flipping and skipping and ripping and dipping. I hit him with venom and enema. Give him an enema, then hit him up right in front of the cinema. Skin him alive, rocking the party as soon as the women arrive. Then I'm a driver staking their heart and squirt lemon in their eyes, like something like that. You know what I mean? Like just <laughs> kind of simple. And then M says something like that, kind of simple. No, for real. I'm starting to... My titty's starting to sweat. <sighs> yeah. All right. So remember, <laughs> just, you know, kind of rock with it. You know, just your natural rhythm. Just let it, let, you know, let it flow, okay. flow free. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. 
This one's going out to all my homies in Compton. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, do you, do you know anybody? Hmm? Do you know anybody Compton? from Compton? No, no, I don't know anybody. Yeah, you might not want to say that then. Oh, okay. All right, let me try it again. Yo, this one's going to all my homies in Sherman Oaks. I know people there. Okay. Hang on one second. Yeah. Oh. Try that. Oh. All right. A little inspiration. I'm just giving him motivation right there. There's your briefcase, Joe. Now start spitting some proper rhymes, Joe. Let's go. No people there. Okay. Hang on one second. Yeah. Oh. Try that. Oh. All right. A little inspiration. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, this is going out to those two jerks from junior high school who called me Briefcase Joe. And guess what? Now it's come to pass that it's turned out to be a good thing for me. Yeah, tell them. Yo, here I go, they call me Briefcase Joe. I write my lyrics down for a keepsake, yo. On the microphone, hear the beats, they go. You could be the rapper, I'm the DJ, yo. My lyrics just erupt like a volcano. Everywhere I walk, when I talk, they know. I'm flipping and dipping and dripping and ripping. I hit him with venom and enemy and enema. I hit him up right in front of the cinema. Just get him alive. It's the scene that women arrive. I am. Yo, Joe is out of breath. I'm flipping him, dipping him, dipping him. <laughs> Imagine having the goat ad libbing for you. Imagine. Briefcase Joe don't know how many people in this world, in the music industry or artists coming up, would die to have Eminem on a track with them. Even just ad libbing. And you know what? Eminem is actually so good at ad libs, like the sounds that he makes. Like people don't give props enough. Prop people just focus on Eminem's like lyrics, but they they don't they tend to forget and don't give enough props for Eminem's ad libs because they're called. Everywhere I walk, when I talk, they know. I'm flipping and dipping and dripping and ripping. I hit him with venom and enema and enema. I hit him up right in front of the cinema. Just get him alive. It's good. Seeing the women arrive, I I'm driving steak to their hearts yeah. and squirt yeah. lemon in their yeah. eyes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Briefcase Joe, they call them, they call them, they call them Briefcase Joe. His name is, his name is Briefcase Joe. He don't carry that briefcase to school no more. With testicles on yeah. vegetables, they're going to Mexico. They on the just can't bro. Yo, Briefcase Joe, they call them, they call them, they call them Briefcase Joe. His name is, his name is Briefcase Joe. He don't carry that briefcase. Eminem's prodigy right there, ladies and gentlemen. Briefcase Joe, self-titled debut right I here. I love listening to myself. I really love it. It's crazy. Yeah, you sound good, man. Thank you. You Thank wanted you. it? You got it. Briefcase Joe is in, so big ups to your briefcase. Eminem, you are done, son. Goodbye. Got briefcase Joe. Hey, that's in the water. It's my briefcase. Hey, hey, wait up. Hey, yo. Briefcase Joe got his briefcase thrown at him by M and M just drove off because that was not a hit Joe. But yo guys, I just wanted to react to something chill today. I enjoy reacting to that because I've never seen that. It is funny because I like to see M doing like funny things as well. I'm getting back onto the reactions. Yo, love you girl, always one.